In this video, we're going to practice drawing the polymer for this given monomer. But before we do that, we're going to spot the errors that are present in a given answer. In fact, the errors are common mistakes that are made when drawing this kind of polymer. Are you ready to spot the errors in one minute? Here's the question. We need to provide the structure of the polymer that is formed from this given monomer. The monomer that we have contains two CC double bonds. This monomer that is given is called isoprene. And the polymer structure that we are going to draw from isoprene is going to be polyisoprene, which is rubber. Here's the given answer. It contains commonly made mistakes. I'm going to give you one minute to spot as many errors as you can. I'll start the clock and then we're going to compare notes at the end of that one minute. Ready? Here we go. All right, time's up. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. How many errors did you find? Let's start from left to right. The first error is this. Polymer should have open-ended bonds on both ends of the structure. The one on the left is missing an open-ended bond. So that's our first mistake. The second mistake that we have is here. The carbon should be bonded to two hydrogens. This carbon is missing one hydrogen. Keep in mind, carbon makes four bonds, so you should use that to help you check your work. The third error is here. The placement of the double bond for this unit of monomer is incorrect. The fourth and the final error is here. This carbon should only be connected to two hydrogens, not three. Again, carbon makes four bonds, right? So that carbon actually has five bonds, which is impossible. So that's the final error. Like I've said, these errors are common mistakes that are made when drawing this polymer. So let's see how the correct answer looks like. We're going to start with the monomer as given. Since the question asks for three repeating units, we draw three monomers right next to each other. When connecting between two monomers, imagine we move the double bond to the next carbon, like this. And then we do the same for the other CC double bond as well. And that connects the first monomer to the second monomer. We repeat the same double bond movement for the second monomer and the third monomer. That way, our second and our third monomers are connected. Since we are only drawing three monomers here, in reality, there are like thousands of these monomers around. So imagine there is one on the left that we didn't draw out and it connects to our first monomer like this. It's important to keep in mind that when we draw our polymers, we need to have open-ended bonds on both sides of the structure. That is to indicate that it's a polymer, as in the structure is continuous more than what we have drawn out. There we have it, the correct structure of polyisoprene made from isoprene. Here are the two videos I've handpicked for you. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you find this video helpful or you enjoyed it, be sure to like and share it with someone. Don't forget to subscribe. Your support means a lot to me.